Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. So recently, about two weeks ago on August 19th, I posted a video about this coin right here. This is part of the Native American dollar series and it is the 2012 coin that was released that year. Uh, that video did pretty well. Uh, people were interested in seeing more and I was interested in continuing to build my collection. So I went out and I purchased this coin right here on eBay. This one right here is the 2013 reverse. And as you can see, it's an uncirculated condition compared to this one right here, which I pulled out of circulation. Now I paid $4 for this coin right here, and this one I only paid face value for because I pulled it out of circulation. But if you're interested in building your own collection, as we'll talk about in today's video, eBay and local coin shops will have, for the most part, the Native American dollar coins, and you can buy them individually versus having to buy them in rolls of 25 or bags or boxes from the United States Mint. But first, let's uh, run through a few people that commented on this video that really enjoyed it. So we had 1958 and lower than 1909. That's someone's handle on YouTube. We also had Coin Group of Minnesota, Cousin Evil One, Danny P. Danny P enjoyed the fact that I showed him where to find the date on it. So the date will be on the uh, edge of the coin, uh, just like this one right here, which we'll look at a little bit later. We had Mike Z, we had Pamela Hill, who's a Native American, and enjoyed seeing these uh, dollar coins, as well as E.D. Rapp. E.D. Rapp owns a local uh, coin shop in Virginia who has every, he has at his local coin shop, every Native American dollar coin for three bucks and under a piece. Um, so if you're in uh, Virginia, maybe uh, Ed Rapp can post a link to his coin shop in the comment section and uh, you can check that out. Now I purchased this one on eBay, as I said. So these ones right here, you can also purchase from the United States Mint directly. The uh, only drawback to that is that you have to buy them in quantities of 25, uh, 100, or a 250. Now those are large quantities, as you can imagine. So that creates the opportunity for coin sellers on eBay or local coin shops to buy those uncirculated rolls. You would pay about $33 for the entire uncirculated roll, and then you could break it up and then sell them all for about three to $4 each. So if you sold them for $3, each so 33 minus ten dollars which is the face value you make about twenty three dollars in profit per roll so about two dollars and thirty cents now of course the local coin shops have overhead but uh, if you sell them on eBay you'd have less overhead but maybe less uh, marketing might be a little bit harder for you so uh, if you're into coin collecting um, and you want to make a little money selling or buying coins feel free to uh, do that on eBay or your local coin shops. Now let's get into the details of this specific coin. Actually, I want to point out one more fact about the Native American dollar coins. Their website for buying them directly from the mint is catalog.usmint.gov. They're currently selling the 2018 Jim Thorpe as well as the 2000 uh, 17 code talkers dollar coins. The dollar coins like this one right here, which are prior to 2017, are, are not going to be able to be bought from the United States Mint. So you'll have to go to your local coin shop or eBay for this. Now let's talk about the mintages of this coin. So this coin came out in 2013, as I said, um, 2013. So the mintages on 2013 are much lower than you'll see from 2012, 11, 10, 9, 8, because in 2013, um, they kind of dialed back the production amount. Excuse me, in 2012, they dialed back the production amount. So 2012 and 2013 will have much lower mintages. In 2013, there are 1.8 million made at the Philadelphia, 1.8 million made at the Denver. Um, there are also some special mint coins as well. Now you'll find the mint mark on the coin, on the edge of the coin, which is the same place which you'll find the um, find the date as well. So it's hard to get the focus right on the edge, but I think I might have just pulled it off right there. Uh, so we see 2013, and then we've got the Philadelphia Mint. So there are 1.8 million of these uh, coins that were made. Now to take a look at the obverse, you'll notice that this one doesn't have, you won't see the date on the obverse of the coin. So that switched over when they started making these specialized Native American dollar coins in 2009. They moved the date from the obverse to the edge of the coin. Now let's look at what we're looking at right here. We see a turkey, a turtle, and a wolf. 
And we also see down at the bottom, Treaty with the Delawares, 1778. So I did a little bit of research on the Treaty with the Delawares. Uh, it was also known as the Treaty of Fort Pitt, uh, Fort Pittsburgh, the Treaty of the Delawares, the Delaware Treaty, and the Fourth Treaty of Pittsburgh. Now what happened uh, with this treaty is that the Delaware uh, Native American group, the Lapani, the Delaware Indians, in, uh, Delaware Indians signed the first official treaty with the United States of America. And in return, uh, the United States provided them with some clothing as well as some other uh, utilities. And that enabled the United States military to cross through the Native American territory as part of their battles against the Great Britain. Now, unfortunately, that didn't work out very well for the uh, Native Americans, um, so much in fact that within a year of signing the treaty, the Delaware Indians were expressing their grievances about the treaty. A delegation of Delaware Indians visited Philadelphia in 1779 to explain their dissatisfaction to the Continental Congress, but nothing changed as a result of that. And then the Delaware Indians joined up with the British and fought against the United States. So. It's kind of interesting that they're commemorating that treaty, the treaty that didn't really work out uh, very well for either party. But I guess since it was the first official uh, documented treaty with the Native Ameri between the Native Americans and uh, the settlers, uh, that they thought it might be a good uh, reverse to make. If anyone has more information or more background on the treaty with the Delawares signed in 1778, feel free to let me know. And maybe I'll make an updated video about this coin and about the treaty to get you some more information. But that's just the uh, info that I know based on the brief amount of research that I did. Now, uh, if you enjoyed this coin, you might enjoy some of the other Native American dollar coins. So I'll just slide those through uh, the video right here and you can check them out. And I've done some videos separately about these coins and I'll also continue to build my Native American dollar coin collection. So let's check out this one right here. This is a Native, uh, the Native American dollar coin, which came out in 2015. So this reverse design right here features a Mohawk Native American uh, standing on top of a skyscraper, presumably, I think it's in New York City, and it shows at the bottom Mohawk iron workers. So the Mohawk Native Americans were very helpful in building the bridges and skyscrapers in New York State. Uh, they didn't really have a fear of heights, so that made it very uh, useful for them in building these uh, skyscrapers. So they really contributed to the infrastructure in New York. I've also got this one right here. This one is the Great Law of Peace. So this is a peace treaty. And this coin right here came out in 2010. Now this peace treaty was used as uh, s some of the building blocks for signing the, for creating the Declaration of Independence. We've also got the Feast of the Three Sisters coin. This one was the first of the specialized Native American dollar coins. So this one right here came out in 2009. Now what we see here um, kind of represents the three different crops that the Native Americans helped introduce to the uh, United States settlers, and that kind of helped provide the settlers with uh, food. Now, all of the obverse designs are going to be the same on this entire series. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you're into coin collecting, if you're into Native American dollar coins, as well as all kinds of other dollar coins, please do check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.